Man United won Brighton too. New season, new manager, same Deadington, same problems. Here we go again. Same old shit, dog, just a different day. Here we go again. You know how United do when they play how we play. Garbage! Eric, I told you, at the start of the summer, I told you that these Deadingtons were no good. They are, in fact, nothing more than Deadingtons. This overpaid Deadington experiment had to come to an immediate end last season. But you chose to give them a chance to see for yourself. You felt that you could help some of them, teach them good habits, coach them, give them simple instructions to follow. Well, you can't. These men are some of the lowest IQ footballers playing the game today. And they are just good at being Deadingtons. No, no, these are the elitist of all the Deadingtons worldwide. Have you seen their wages? This is top shelf garbage. Multiple managers have found out the hard way. You cannot polish a doo-doo. If you try, you will end up spreading the doo-doo all around and making what, everything man? worse. This is what happened with the squad. The doo-doo has overtaken the ball and now we are overflowing with doo-doo. This is a real shit show. We have fans protesting against the owners, a board protesting against success, and players protesting against the ball. Nonsense! Opening game of the season, Old Trafford, against Brighton, a team that gave us four unanswered Muay Thai kick to face last time we saw them. This was supposed to be vengeance, but instead Brighton rolled to our yard and gave us another two thumps to the face. These seagulls keep picking us apart and scavenging on our suffering. Graham Potter is a sick coach. Brighton need to give Potter more paper because his training days have got his team moving like they got gangster writers. They even lost their best two players this summer and still moved to us. Potter has fully got our number and he has been calling non-stop with no respect. What man talks. How can we expect change at this club when we're still hoarding the same Deadentons? These beggars didn't even give us fake hope to start the new season. Instantaneously the joke of the weekend and most likely the rest of the season. At least last season we had a bang in two weeks to start with. Smashed leads in their face and then made some big boy signings. It was all blessed before reality slapped us up and down the country for multiple months. But to be honest, I'm far from surprised. It's the same culprits every game, every season. The entire spine of this team has scoliosis and sciatica. It doesn't work properly and it gives us super pain every game. 10-10 seems yeah. Show, show. Like he really didn't know that these were some elite Deadingtons. He needs to tell many men to get out of here now. Thank you, please. Harry Maguire. Slab head D1. El Capitan. What does he have on the board? How can he be first choice? He's too slow to ever be in front of anyone. So how does he start? Maguire over Varane. A habitual Champions League winner behind a habitual relegator. What kind of backwards hustling is this? We can't go anywhere with this guy leading us. He only knows last, last. This boy gets burned by everyone. Whenever I watch this fridge play, I need Ibo and Shayo. I need Ibo and Shayo. He wasn't even terrible today, but it is so easy to get in behind him. It's so easy that our other centre backs have ended up behind him in the pecking order. Just get him out. Luke Shaw, please. No more of this guy. This is his ninth season of offering us nothing and getting paid handsomely for it. Is man a Kardashian? Please tell this potato to put on his jacket and peel out of here before left side gets any more matchup than it is. We have Malassia now. It's his time. Get Shaw out. Scott McRabbish. This is definitely Fergie's secret love child. That can be the only explanation for his continued presence. It's crazy enough he has a contract and zero worries about being shown the exit. But he starts week in, week out. It's criminal. This guy is his own up. He's beefing with his touch. He's beefing with his passing. He's beefing with his tackle and he absolutely hates the the ball. Even the Scots don't let Scott play anywhere near the midfield. He should have been sent off today, but the up players won't let it happen because it's easier to play against him than 10 men. Get him out! Frederick, oh my goodness! What a shocking performance today. There was me thinking he's finally found his Brazilian passport, but he's clearly forgotten it in Australia. It's like he became an Aussie rules player out there and forgot what he's supposed to be doing for us. And just when I was thinking that Fred may be worthy of being a red. But the pastor used his Sunday service to remind us all that he is only Fred the dead. Well, I am tired of waiting for these deadenters to rise again. Get Fred out of this first team now. Rashford and Bruno, can we just stop pretending with these two now? Thank you, please. Rashford has fallen off the same cliff that Deli Ali fell off, and neither of them are ever making it back. It's over for them, man. And Bruno Fernandes, why does he hate the ball like so? Man said he played false nine today. He has been playing false footballer for 18 months. His X and triangle buttons have been broken for time. His finesse button is compromised, and his shoot button has been replaced with a complaint button. Get both of these guys the hell out of here. I refuse to spend the whole season picking out the same players for doing the same nonsense. I'm not even angry at them at this point. This what is man, all they please. have. I'm tired of the club for leaving man with no options but to play these dead enders. We have only signed three players this entire summer. We needed at least eight. Now, I'm very happy with the three that we put in. Lissandro had a couple of shaky moments in the first half and probably should have given away a pen. But he played well. He uses class in everything he does. A hard tackler is a quality pass and, and he has a composed demeanor. Ericsson looked so lonely out there today. He had no one of quality near him and Malassia did more in five minutes than Lucas Potato sure did last year and he didn't even do anything we better see moving in this market this week we have been patient enough there is no more to say than get it done united thank you please